Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be looking through a um, piece of type which I've created before and we're going to look through the project file how I um, have added a few things which have not been mentioned in previous tutorials such as uh, different brush uh, tools, different sculpting, t sculpting techniques and um, yeah just talk through the process again um, similar to my last video this won't be cut in any way this will just be um, just be talking through the project files and also the the Photoshop um, side of what happens to the to the render when I take it through to, to be finalized in, in the final piece so uh, we are firstly starting in blender with the final piece which is not usual for my tutorials um, but I think it'd be good to break down certain ways of what I've done to the type um, and how we've got to this outcome. So if you haven't already, there is a video of how I get to this point. Um, it's basic to do with you start in Illustrator or you start in Procreate and from the little B-roll intro you can see that I started in Procreate for this piece of work. Um, and this then goes through into Illustrator and gets imported as an SVG from Illustrator into Blender. And this is where we go from there. We can um, adjust the geometry, create into a mesh, then we remesh the um, the type, and then we also um, we then basically sculpt it into something that we we would like. So this is the the final piece and the way it, that I've sculpted that piece of type, which is in front of us. Um, so yeah, if you haven't watched that video already, I highly recommend going to do that before you come to this video. Um, and then you can come back and then add certain techniques that we're going to be talking through in this video. So uh, yeah, hopefully this video will be still useful for, for people. Um, okay, so I'm going to navigate around the project file now and just have a look what we, we've got going on. So obviously this is very composed to be shot from the front uh, side. This is the, this is the um, we're not going to be animating this, so it just needs to be pretty from one angle, right? So what we've, you can see is I've just pulled and stretched lots of different parts of the type. Um, and I've also added a few in marks into the type, into the mesh. And um, yeah, just really like almost liquefied the the type completely. And if I go into the render view, let me switch all my source lights on, and then I go into render. This is what the type is looking like. And there was a few decisions when I was rendering. Um, there was a few decisions when I was um, creating the. Um, I just need to boot up not OBS, I need to boot up um, just this quickly, Octane, the render um, engine. Um, but there, yeah, there was lots of uh, process in Photoshop which I had to go through, such as making the type black and white. This was a, um, this was part of the process for that. Um, and hopefully it doesn't show anything else. Uh, let's have a look now. Um, Okay, so we have another piece of letter here which we don't need showing. Whoops, I just hit in the wrong one. Uh, let me you. Okay, so we did go for a black and white. I thought I had some colour involved in here, but this is basically how it is lit, and it's using a uh, like a murky metal material, um, which just made it in in the. It's very very simple. Um, this is what the type looks like with a bit more. Um, metallic um, which is quite interesting but it was something that I wasn't going for and we also are in octane renderer so if this side panel is looking different to you um, yeah this is octane I probably should have said that at the start of the thing but you should be able to pick stuff up. Um, this is more about the process of how um, what tools I use which are the same in, in all en render engines so um, Yes, yeah, so we'll go and have a look at basically what's happened to this type and where we've uh, where we've took it and what we've done with used it. So right, I'll remove all of these lights here and then I will put these back on here and then I will go to sculpt mode. Okay, so a big part of this piece of type was the um, I used basically the elastic deform. 
and this allows me to grab parts of the mesh and move it around so you can adjust the radius and you can then grab parts of the mesh as I said and just move and morph things around so what I'm looking for when I'm making this type is areas which merge together so I see this line this line follows that I see this line this line follows that uh, I see this line here this follows that there um, it's all got to have kind of a as if it's been we like weathered by like wind or something like that that these work so you can see that this part here is weathered by this piece here so that works this here is like create a part for this here it's all about trying to get that I'm also trying to look at overlaps as well so we have overlaps here over the top of this type which initially wasn't there um, and there's also overlaps going on here um, where else do we have overlaps pieces over here which is nice it just almost like combines a type together it makes it feel like it's a one piece rather than that it's individual type um, individual letters even so yeah that was how that was working and um, we've also been using the grab tool to move a lot of stuff around and also the blob tool which allows me to add a almost like a another layer um, it's like drawing on this mesh right so we're, we're almost going through in this um, with a bigger radius uh, if I set the radius to something like this you can see that it allows me to puff areas up uh, like this and down here and up here and I can kind of like adjust which things I want to, to look right I'm also looking at like the rule of thirds right I'm also looking at these parts come out this way these parts come out this way it's looking at them like where your perspective lines are right so this is shooting up here this is going this way up here straight through the middle it's all trying to get that um, that easy line if we was to uh, grab this and face this looking this way I know this isn't gonna look fantastic uh, maybe this is a better example something like this you can see that it just feels off already so yeah, it's important to have them, if you have that in your mind while you, you're creating your, your piece of type. Um, in terms of the, um, the, let me find it. I think I was using Scrape or I was using Draw Sharp. I think I was using Draw Sharp. So Draw Sharp allows me to like etch into this type. So I was basically saying the radius really low and I was just going in and hashing in little bits of line. There's only a few bit of details there. This is just for the demonstration of the video. Um, but I thought thought, thought it was really nice to, to add them little things. And you get that kind of um, as if it's been indented into this metal. I can't show you the render at the moment. Uh, actually, I can. Let me just switch the lights back on. Um, okay. So I just switched on you. Switch on. Yeah, so you can see that the original type is completely contrast to what we were originally working with. Um, so yeah, let me get that layer back. Okay, so yeah, you can see it's almost indented into the mesh. It catches the light nicely. Um, and yeah, it's just like another little detail that's, that's nice to your type. We're now going to quickly um, jump over to Photoshop. And we're going to look at where this project went for me. Um, this is personal on, on my half and how I was intending to create this piece of work and where it would fit in. So I was playing around with the idea of putting it onto photography and this was a piece from Unsplash. I'm not a big advocate of using Unsplash for, for, for type, for any creative work personally, um, unless it is done right. Um, I think that it's very uh, very populated and this is probably actually the first time I've ever used a unsplash image in any of my work so uh, yeah it just seemed to fit right so yeah shout out to Nathan Anderson for this this image here from unsplash um, but yeah so we put this through I basically added a few noise textures to this so I've got a, a really subtle noise texture so if you used to go to filter we go to noise and then we go to add noise, it'll add this kind of noisy texture which I really liked on this piece. Um, I've also obviously dropped all the hue, brightness and saturation, all the saturation is down to, to zero. And I probably had a little bit of a play with the curves 
and just to take out some real harsh edges of the whites and also balance out the blacks as well. Um, so yeah, that's what's happened here. And then to the actual piece itself, we're going through to, to basically what I, how I would present this typography, right? So um, this, isn't, this isn't really touching on any 3D aspects, but you can see I've taken this piece here. I've then gone into Illustrator and I've started to like layer this type. It's important to layer your type uh, with other elements, especially when it comes to like urban graphic design, this kind of style that we are working within. So yeah, I've basically, um, if we were to talk through this asset here, this bones, basically this is just took from Procreate. I'm using a brush to a brush to basically sketch this through, and then I've took it through into Photoshop, and it's had a few little um, adjustments. We've had the a color overlay on top. Um, let me just take that color overlay. Yeah, it's like a cream. Um, and then we've also got like some little scan stickers on here which are like behind to add another piece of depth we've still got the noise texture um, and we've got this like grainy noise texture here which was used like from a sample image um, and it's all about like kind of trying to contrast that type right so we are using these really symmetrical light shapes to almost like make this type stand out even more um, there is a drop shadow on here as well, which is interesting. Um, it, this basically allows it to obviously sit above this this back piece, which I thought was nice. Um, in terms of like graphics and type stuff, we've got we've kept it very minimal. We've gone for these like little circles here, which are made in Illustrator and copied straight over to Photoshop. Um, we've also got some swearing in there, and we've got some type in here. This is basically just me. Um, exfoliating some of like when I'm listening to music and stuff writing some some lyrics down um, but it just works as great type um, fillers almost so that's really nice um, we've got some nice type up here more music lyrics and uh, I like to just like version 8.1 it's almost like a, a time capsule as I say for my work so that's really nice also some little subtle pieces um, which are here this goes back to the idea of like what works and what doesn't work. As a graphic piece, I think it works really well. Um, is it my best piece? No, we have to be critical about stuff like that. Um, is there improvements? Yeah, I'm starting to understand like the way we can present type better. Um, it's just more refining, right? So um, yeah, this was the final piece and um, I'm just gonna grab the other final piece which I put through. So I was working with a grid system as well, which was also took from Illustrator. And then just a quick Photoshop screenshot of the previous project. So it's almost like just chucked straight on top here, um, which I thought was a quite a fun way of presenting. Um, it feels a bit experimental. It feels a bit unpolished and, um, what's the word for it? Yeah, unpolished is, is the right word, excuse me. Um, so it kind of works with that type, right? That type is very experimental. It's difficult to read for a start. I mean, no one's going to be spotting that it says Hera anytime soon. Um, but it it works with the way I want to present. And that's probably the main taking point from this video is um, if your type is put in the right setting, um, it will just feel right depending on whatever it looks like. It's all about how you present these pieces of work, right? Um, so yeah, I'm I'm pleased with this uh, with this um, piece of type and how it's been come across, um, and yeah, hopefully you guys can take something from this quick like review. I think that's what I'm going to call the video is like a little ranty review, um, because yeah, there isn't much uh, technical work going on here. It's not necessarily a tutorial, but it's, I guess it's a a process and my thought process of how we get to an outcome. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'd also like to shout out quickly the Discord community server called Hive. Um, it's a project we've been working on for uh, the last couple of months. So shout out to everyone who has been helping out with that. Uh, with that. You know who you are. Um, and yeah, we feel free to join that server. We're basically um, sharing content like this. We're trying to like develop as, as creatives. Um, even if you're involved with like tech or something like that, feel free to join involved and get involved. Um, but yeah, thanks to everyone who's already been joining in there and sharing all the content. Really do appreciate it. And thank you to all the new subscribers. It's crazy. Um, 
uh, I think as we recall is 850 subscribers I believe um, which is just ridiculous um, I mean now my my audience on here is now bigger than um, my Instagram account which I've been trying to run pretty much I think there's almost um, over 200 posts 250 posts I think um, on high try the Instagram account I've been maining that for the last five years so to come over here for a, for a couple of months and have that kind of engagement is fantastic and I really do appreciate all of it um, but yeah we're going to end the video here hopefully you guys enjoyed the little review little talk through hope hasn't been too ranty but these are the kind of videos I would like to do if I create pieces of work it'd be cool to like talk through it and see what you guys think maybe we can get some improvements what you guys think we could have um, I definitely think the material could be improved on here if I was to review myself I feel like we could push the material on this this type I feel like there's a lot of areas we, we could um, improve so maybe we do a little come up uh, come up video where we um, improve the the original piece um, I don't know let you guys let me guys um, know what you think of what that what that is um, but yes shout out to everyone who's been getting involved with it with the channel I really do appreciate it and I will catch you guys hopefully in the next video see you in a bit